Hello. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us your name, how old you are, and what you do as a job? Uh, hi, my name is Stefan. I'm 26 years old and I'm currently a junior chemist. Can you uh, describe to us what your role and responsibilities are in your job? So my current responsibilities are to test and classify illegally stored chemicals into the various dangerous goods categories and organise for them to be transported and disposed of properly. So what can happen if um, to these illegal substances if they just sit there? So why have you been brought in to do that job? So what had actually happened was that a couple of years ago there was a very big fire where one of these warehouses had caught fire out in Footscray and it burned for almost three weeks, I believe, and just pumped toxic chemicals into the air and it really affected the air quality of the surrounding neighborhoods and a lot of people were hospitalized and have developed lung issues because of that so it's important that these kinds of warehouses are found and safely emptied. Cool. Uh, how long have you been in your current job? Uh, approximately six months or so. And was this your first um, job as a, like a junior chemist or what did you do before? Uh, yes, it's my first job as a junior chemist. Um, my first job was at McDonald's when I was 14 throughout high school. And then I worked at a mushroom farm while I was at uni. And now I'm finally working as a junior chemist. So when you were at school, um, what subjects did you pick and did these lead you into the role that you have today? So at school, I did, uh, in year 12, I did English, Math, Methods, Chemistry, Biology and Psychology. Um, and I mainly just picked those because those were the subjects I was most interested in. I wasn't really worried about my career at that point but um yeah in the end because i enjoyed them the most when i went on to uni i kept studying them and that's how i've ended up as a junior chemist so when you left school and you decided to look at extra study what um qualification or what degree did you complete so i went to uni and started a bachelor of science and when I first started it, I had no idea what my major would be. So I did a couple of broad subjects. Um, and then as I completed my degree, I just kept choosing the subjects I chose, which led to me majoring in chemistry. So what, um, what degree do you have? What's the name of it? So I have a Bachelor of Science majoring in chemistry is my first degree. and. I finished that with very high marks, so I went on to do an honours year, also majoring in chemistry. So how long were you at uni for? Uh, four years in total. And did you enjoy it? Loved it. Yeah. Uni was fantastic. Like, it was super interesting. I went and was actually, you know, at uni on campus, which was very good because it meant I made a whole heap of friends and yeah, it was just a good time. Cool. Um, so looking at your job now, um, can you describe um, what someone in your role may earn? Uh, currently I would earn roughly $70,000 a year as a junior chemist. Yeah. And um, if you were to uh, continue, like how do you get to a senior chemist? Um, I pretty much just believe it's experience really. Just okay. as so time, you know, I get, 
yeah, as I become more familiar with the different procedures and all of that, I would be given more responsibility. And what can a senior um, chemist make? Um, upwards of, oh, man, about 150000 a year. Hmm. There's your goals. <laughs> um, is there high employment opportunities in your field? Um, it was a bit of a struggle finding a chemist job, yeah. um, especially at the moment I was only on a short term contract. So I'm about to start job hunting again. And it's currently very difficult to find jobs because of the COVID virus. But um, yeah. yeah, it could be a bit of a struggle. There wasn't very many chemistry jobs floating around. And why do you think that? Is it people looking for um, individuals with more experience or is it um, just the lack of jobs that we have here in, I guess, Victoria for scientists or chemists? Um, I think it's a, a little bit of both. There's not very many graduate roles that I could find. Um, and then because there wasn't very many, like you would have hundreds of people applying for the same jobs. So it was kind of hard to distinguish yourself from the crowd. But another big problem is that um, companies kind of just wanted people that already knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. So even though something would be advertised as a graduate job, um, I was still competing against people that had worked in the industry for three, four, five years, just yeah. because they too were looking for jobs. So even if it was a bit of a pay cut from what they were previously getting, they still needed the job. Yeah. Um, how did you find your current job? Where did you look? Uh, so I spent a lot of time going through Seek, just put in all the different things, scroll through. Um, I'd also got in contact with a recruitment agency that kind of specialised in scientist roles. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so between communicating with them and looking at Seek, I found the, the current job I'm at listed and it was advertised through the agency I'd already contacted. So I got back in contact with them and they put my name forward. Cool. Okay. What do you find hard about your job? Um, the actual, like, doing the job, I don't really find anything very hard. I do chemistry because I enjoy it. So, like, I enjoy going to work every day. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, some of it can sometimes get a bit boring, like, you are kind of doing very repetitive things. So I'm testing three, 400 samples a day. It's very much the same set of actions. And then once all that's finished, you've got to like do all of the data entry, yeah. which isn't hard. It's just occasionally a bit boring. Yep. And what do you like about your job? Um, just that I get to like in the range of um, during the course of testing things in these warehouses, I just come across a range of things that I think are kind of unique and exciting. So like I've come across isocyanides, which are very toxic chemicals, things that are labeled as explosives, things that are radioactive compounds and decaying, like just, yeah, just a whole heap of stuff. Yeah. All very much stored incorrectly and there's a big potential for it to go Blow wrong. up. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, so in terms of someone wanting to be, I guess, a chemist, what traits would someone have to have, do you think? Um, 
Well, for my current role, as I said, I spend a lot of time kind of repeating the same actions. So you need to be able to find interesting things while you're doing those repeats. Yeah. So um, like to keep you focused. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if you can manage to find different ways to have some fun while, you know, focusing on your work, like humming little songs to yourself or, you know, if you're working with people, chatting to them. But um, otherwise, you've just got to kind of, I think, be inquisitive. There's quite a lot of things that as I'm coming across, I just need to kind of follow my gut instinct a bit with because nothing's labeled or marked so if i come across something that i feel is uh you know dangerous in a unique way i've got to be able to trust that my hunch is correct yeah cool um where can your job lead you so where can you um travel with this can you obviously you can move up to a senior chemist but um where can your job take you um, so currently my boss is a, he, he was a chemical engineer, but you know, we studied roughly the same things. So he's the project manager and he, for the company we're currently working for is frequently flown all around Australia to kind of manage cleanup and waste removal projects. Um, he's worked on the oil rigs floating out at mm. sea. Um, if you do more of the like synthetic chemistry roles, um, very often they'll send you to like symposiums or like, you know, conferences so that you can go learn new techniques or maybe so that you can go there and lecture. And those are held all over the world. So you can be flown to America or Europe. Yeah. And um, if you're interested and the company's happy, they can also um, like sponsor you to do your PhD so that you can spend four or five years working, studying, and then yeah, you come out being a doctor of chemistry. Cool. All right. Uh, thank you for telling us about your job. Bye. Not a problem. Bye.